and a whatever, whatever suits you, but try to have variety in the stroke, variety in the pace, variety in the distance. So when you're doing those supersets, that's a sort of set distance. Another day you might just say, well, I'll have a crack at that 1500. Try and find out what time it takes you, because it is interesting. You don't, if you don't know what time it takes you to do anything, you never know if you've improved. But now and again, a 1500 or a, a T30, that's a 30 minute swim, and you try and count how many lengths, if you can, that you've done in that time. There's various alterations, variations on the theme that you must try to adjust to suit yourself. Training, the word training is supposed to mean adaptation to stress. <coughs> Now your body will adapt to whatever you subject it to within reason. Ain't a very good idea to hang yourself, but <laughs> from that. But in order to improve, you have to continue to be making adaptations to what you have, because you'll adapt to the stress you put on it. Now if you want to adapt more, you either have to go further, or stay in for longer, or go faster, change the rest times between these chunks of work. But be continually making it a little bit difficult for yourself. Just, uh, just you have to stretch it. But do, you must keep the balance right. Don't go crazy. Boys usually are so macho. I'm going to do this, I'm going to... And then all of a sudden, oh God, I did something wrong yesterday. And then you're out. So it's far better to err on the side of discretion and build gradually. But build. And one way or the other. And again, if you've written it down, you'll be very pleased to look back and say, gee, I don't believe, was I as bad as that? Well, anyway, I'm better now. And then you can see where you've progressed. I had a little note from Charlie Wilson here, which said, if you overtrain, you, you can, um, you can uh, spoil your immune system if you really upset yourself, and you can hurt yourself. But if you undertrain, then you're not prepared for your competition. You must learn to assess yourself as you go along. And he said, you have to stay in for 30 minutes, because if you don't stay in as long as that, you've had a good wash. <laughs> <laughs> but note how you feel as you go along. And adjust accordingly. But always be looking forward to slight improvement. Now, I think you have got another little circle there. Oh, me time. <laughs> This one is how to make a training. Hey, I'm getting quite good at this. It's a bit sideways. <laughs> now, that is the amount of time you've got. It may be an hour, you may have an hour and a quarter, whatever time you've got. About half of it should be your first choice of stroke. Now, that need not be front crawl every time because. Today could be your first choice stroke, front crawl. Tomorrow it could be backstroke. The next day it could be medley. But about half of your time is spent on that. This could be medley, a quarter. And this <coughs> can be what we call sectional swimming. I have to be very careful in how I say it. <laughs> Pulling and kicking, if you prefer it. And this can be sprints, and can include starts, and or turns. But, you are stuck with this written in stone. As I say, that could be there, and this could be all crawl. This could be, where it's only a quarter, it could be here. Or, part of it could be here, and part of it could be there. You can do your kicking and pulling, in your main choice, or you can do it in your medley, or you can even do some sprints on kicking. It's quite a good idea because most of us, oh, and the other thing is don't use boards. If you've got a float in front of you, as Lynn was saying, the back end is working, somewhere between there and there, you're going to have a problem. If it isn't there, it'll be here. If you're doing crawl kicking, or, well, any, any kicking. You just put your hands in the water and you flow along. You can do nice sculling exercise, it's really good. And, and you don't get that 
stiffness, a point at which one end doesn't match the other. You can do quite a lot of kicking on your back. Excuse me, is that the children's I think so. Well, uh, I have read certain medical opinions and have said the lower lumbar region has, they've had a lot of kids come into them with problems there, and they reckon it's because they were using kickboards. Could I just add here that last weekend I was down at Kelly College with yeah, Archie, Archie Robin Brew, yeah. Yeah, and, and he says exactly the same thing, oh, do great. not use kickboards. So that's interesting. Well, thanks a lot, because <laughs> Archie Brew's one fantastic yeah. coach, yeah. I'm really pleased um, to hear it. You know my son coaches America, yeah. he was always speaking all his students, with one arm there, one arm there. That's and great, too. And in that way. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Face down. Face down. Breathe to the side. That's brilliant, Mary. Yeah. Thanks. We're going to do some funny drills in the pool this afternoon. Because when you swim full stroke, you quite often don't know. You can't keep your mind on everything. I I'm a great believer in in skill drills. You bring down to one activity so that you can concentrate on what you're doing. And then a lot of this is here because it gives you a chance to get a feel of the water, especially on backstroke. A lot of people don't know what's happening. there. <laughs> and, and we were doing fly on our sides this morning. That was really nice. I hope you enjoyed it because I thought it was excellent. And you use your body more freely when you're on your side. All those skill, skill drills are, are help you to think. So, I hope this is understandable. <laughs> it can all be swapped about. And you can, you don't want to do an awful lot of sprints, because you'll get very choppy. I would never put sprints into there, unless it was right at the end of the peak period, which I'll just touch on before we go away. If you're doing sprints, you need very long rests. I have, I have some very interesting uh, yeah, talk about aerobic and anaerobic systems. And I was listening to tapes. We had a we had a um, conference here nine years ago, I think, '92, when we ran that conference. And Charlie Wilson came, and Tony Homeyard, and and Lynn, and um, we taped it. So I had the, I found the tapes. So these last couple of nights I've been listening. I'm not listening to my jazz anymore. <laughs> I'm listening to Charlie Wilson talking. And uh, so I was just boning up on what he had said. And one of the most interesting parts of the, <coughs> of the year, when you're just before you're going away on your big one, you have to do this peak. And it is hard. Not because you're swimming hard, it's because you've got to rest. And I hate resting. And I'm sure all of you are the same. You think, ah, I want to go somewhere, I want to do something. And no. You can go down and swim nice and comfortably, and if you do a sprint, you've got to have a really long rest. And according to, if I might get this right, according to Charlie Wilson, what was his wording? It was so good. Success has nothing to do with workload. Pardon? <laughs> you think, well, what is the load you've done before you get there? There was a brilliant American coach who came over and spoke to the BSCA years ago, and he said, uh, well, by the time you get here, the hate is in the barn. <laughs> <laughs> and you do have to remember that if you've been working, even if it's only for the last six months, you've put your systems into place, and come the big event, you need to rest a lot. And it doesn't mean sitting down. But it does mean that you have to hold back. Don't go in and practice your 1,500 meters the day before you're going to swim the 1,500 meters. You're very tempted because you're thinking, I'm not sure if I can still do that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a, especially if it's a 400 IM. Oh, dear. I've got that coming on Saturday. So you have to take yourself in hand. He had a lovely word. He said, oh, steal yourself to resist the temptation to keep yourself going. <laughs> this, rest, this rest period is for recovery, <laughs> but it's not for sitting still. You can use it efficiently if you're still doing drills and working at a moderate pace and thinking, but this is the bit that matters most of all, your starts and your turns. We so seldom spend time, we think, oh, I mustn't waste any time on that, we've only got an hour. 
And if we don't spend 10 minutes of it on dives, I mean, we've got to get out and stand there and wait for the other person. And, oh, no. Um, I think we'll just do another 300 now. <laughs> it is wrong. You can win and lose a race on a start. Everybody knows it. And uh, it's so hard to make yourself think about it. May mainly because we don't have the facility. And you've got blocks here. Jolly nice. But <laughs> you've got to use them. And the other thing, of course, is turns. When you're in a chain, it's very easy to think, well, I don't know. I think he's right behind me. I'll just do a grab here and then I can see what's going on. Make sure that you're far enough apart and have some care for everybody else, of course. You know, if you see he, you're getting a bit close to him, well, back off. Give him space to get to his turn and come back, and then you can have a go at it yourself. Faster, rather than going and think, well, I better be a bit careful here, or he might come out and hit me. These things are all quite difficult when you're in a big bunch, and very difficult if you're in with the public. And I <laughs> know because I've been there. <laughs> But it, as long as you bear it in mind, you can make the adaptations. But you do need to practice these starts and these turns. When you're, tr when you're warming up, just save yourself before you start. Hand on hand, stretch, hold the head in there, tummy in, butt in, all the rest of it, feet together. As you say it to yourself, you do remind yourself, and you'll do it. I swam with, with Linda. Remember our Linda here? She used to have fabulous terms. We did it, something like the um, swimathon together. And she said, oh, I swim really slowly, I'm not very well, and all that stuff. And I thought, oh, I'll try and keep up with her. And we got every turn, she would, <laughs> she was away again. Oh! <laughs> you can win it on your turns if you really go into them carefully. So that's that. Um, oh, yeah, I just want to say, but the difference